Morpheus Network is trading at around $1.44. It's up 6% today. And the market cap is around $68.9 million. Likely for us, the circulating supply is the same as the maximum supply, which means the market cap based on the circulating supply is the same as the fully diluted market cap. This is great and this is awesome for everyone. I still see this as one of the most undervalued cryptocurrencies because of its potential to have a big influence on the supply chain management solutions and all other supply chain based solutions in the near future. So guys, welcome to Investor Vibe. My name is Philip and please, if you have not subscribed yet, take a moment, subscribe, hit on the notification bell. Here we talk about cryptocurrencies and mostly we look into the fundamental analysis to see if they have potential to have influence on our global economy in the near future. So guys, if you are interested in that and if you are trying to understand the opportunities that lies ahead and trying to figure out which cryptocurrencies are more likely to achieve this goal. Please subscribe, hit on the notification bell and welcome to Investor Vibe. All right. So yeah, today I'm more interested in looking at everything happening in Morpheus Network, especially we are going to have a walkthrough concerning the masternode. If you are part of the Morpheus Network community, then you've been aware of the masternode and We've all waited for a very long time, but finally it's here and it's awesome. If you already own MNW, then you know that it's an ERC20 token. But if you don't, well, you know it now. However, the master node program requires that participant bridge the MNW token one is to one to the Polygon chain. The process is simple and you don't need any further education on this. It's very, very easy. Let's talk about the node fees now. Participation in the beta testing program will allow those participants who comply with the terms and conditions of the Morpheus Network Beta Masternode Operator Agreement to receive 18% of the total number of MNW staked to the Trusted Data Masternode program per year. And it's going to be paid quarterly at a rate of 4.5% per quarter. The size of each node is 1,800 tokens. This means that participants will have to have tokens in denominations of 1,800 to set up a node. The maximum limit per individual is 200 nodes. This means each participant can stake up to 360,000 MNW tokens. The master node program commences on December 20th, 2022, with first staking rewards distributed to validators in June 2023, which is six months later. This is the integrations that um, MNW has, and there are many more to come in the future. But I'm going to look at some of the actions happening in supply chain management, especially concerning blockchain. The global blockchain in supply chain management is anticipated to observe noteworthy growth in the upcoming years. Significant rise in the demand for blockchain solutions in supply chain in several industries is driving the growth of the market. The platform subsegment product traceability subsegment and retail subsegment are estimated to all have some massive growth in the near future. According to PR Newswire, by 2028, demand for global blockchain technology in supply chain management size and share will surpass $3.153 billion at a compound annual growth rate of about 51.3%. The global blockchain technology in supply chain management market was worth around $262.9 million in 2021, and is estimated to grow to about $3.153 billion by 2028, which means it is going to have a compound annual growth rate of approximately 51.3% over the forecast period. So that's massive. And 2028 is like about three years from now because we are already in 2023. And this is SAP, although MNW is not included or is not part of any of these solutions. I feel the need to bring it to your attention because I feel like it shows the involvement of big companies when it comes to supply chain solutions, especially involving blockchain. SAP Unilever pilots blockchain technology supporting deforestation-free palm oil. SAP and Unilever today announced the pilot of the green token by SAP solution to further increase traceability and transparency in Unilever's global palm oil supply chain. This is more interesting, especially when it comes to Beta Standards Council. Backed by a strong board of committed ecosystem leaders, Beta Standards Council is a collaboration cooperating to develop the pro-competitive, open-source, and royalty-free blockchain or Web3 standards. 
for implementation that will maximize the efficiency of the global supply chain for the benefit of all. The reason why it's important because beta is part of IEEE and IEEE, we all know, has a huge influence because it is the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers and it's a professional electronic and engineering association. The mission is to create an advanced technology for the benefit of humanity through engineering. The IEEE ISTO announces formation of Beta Standards Council, BSC, incorporated in March 2022, so it's very new. Beta Standards Council has the mission to publish and certify open source standards to facilitate global commerce, initially with a focus on blockchain-enabled technologies in the transportation and logistics industry. By standardizing the data formats attributes on transportation blockchain platforms, we will improve interoperability within the industry and create efficiencies in the supply chain and track and trace applications. The reason I'm excited about this is because of the companies involved. We have Delta, we have FedEx, we have UPS, we have Salesforce, and already Morpheus Network has integrations with FedEx, with UPS, Salesforce, and I think the others could happen in the future. So I'm very, very excited and I'm looking forward to it. And maybe, who knows, Morpheus Network could be part of this board members or could be part of this uh, alliance. So this is all I wanted to bring to your attention, all right? I'm very excited that you stayed to the end. Before you go though, please subscribe, hit on the notification bell. Thank you. <laughs>